Welcome to my lecture online. If we take another look at the consistency of the crust and the soil on Mars, especially based on the findings from Pathfinder and Sojourner, and if we look at it more from an elemental perspective, the individual elements, what is the consistency of the crust and the soil on Mars? Well, we found that it was about 63.6% .6 silicon dioxide, and of course, silicon dioxide is the primary constituent of sand and rock, and so, just like on the Earth, a very high percentage, almost two-thirds of what they found was indeed rock material, silicon dioxide. But on Mars, was also a very high percentage of iron in the soil at the landing site of Pathfinder and Sojourner. As much as 15% of what they were analyzing was iron, of course, is the, the oxidation of the iron on the surface that gives Mars its red color. So almost 80% of what was found on the surface was rock and iron. Then three more uh, very predominant uh, constituents are aluminum at 5.6%, calcium at 4.7%, and magnesium at 4.1%. When we add all that up, 93% of the soil on Mars, when they found, when they analyzed it at the Pathfinder Sojourner landing site, was rock, iron, aluminum, calcium, and magnesium. Then there were a couple more, sodium and sulfur, uh, that was found in relatively high concentrations. And so 97.5% of the soil at that landing site was silicon dioxide, essentially rock, iron, aluminum, calcium, magnesium, sodium, and sulfur. So in some respects, not that different from what we find on the Earth. In other respects, there were some key differences. So we're going to take a look at what the key differences are, what they found on Mars, and what they found on the Earth. And definitely one of them is there was an extremely amount of iron in the soil on Mars, at least on a particular landing site, which is not typically found on the Earth. So we'll take a look at that in the next videos.